Hello, I am Suchindra. The topic of my literature survey is model based design in automotive industry. As the size and complexity of embedded electronic software in automotive industries is increasing rapidly, to meet this challenge and get quality, cost, and time efficient software in automotive industries, model based design is used. Model based design can be implemented by using V cycle, whose left side represents the design phases of embedded systems and right side represents the test and verification process. The development process of a product can be improved by implementing the agile model and incremental testing throughout this workflow. Modeling starts early in the development process with requirements engineering where informal requirements are turned into models in three steps. In the first step, informal requirements are assumed to be unstructured with no specific syntax. In the second step, using structuring rules, informals are converted into formals manually, resulting in a loose coupling between informal and formal requirements. The third step deals with the integration of model-based requirement specification, whereby using AML structuring rules, a tight integration can be achieved between formal requirements and model-based requirement specifications. Model-based designing can be done in 10 steps like using simple language to state the problem, modeling physical processes to see the environment in which the system works, characterizing the problem by isolating fixed and adjustable parameters and variables to be controlled, deriving the control algorithm to be executed by a computer and selecting models of computation, specifying hardware capable of withstanding environment, interacting with physical systems and implementing the, the control algorithm, simulating the problem using desktop simulation tools and constructing the device according to the specification. In synthesizing software where sometimes code synthesizers are, in, in, are incorporated into the simulation environments and configuring adjustable parameters to create simple test environments. Various benefits can be achieved by using different kinds of model based design tools. Like in the case of AutoSer tools, inability to rapidly adapt to AutoSer models, meta models evolution, and in consideration towards integration between AutoSer tools. By using a model based design approach, AutoSer software architecture designer called ASAD has been proposed improving scalability and consistency. ASAD has mainly three components integrated development environment containing GUI framework project manager and project repository. By using GUI framework, access to all GUI components of ASAD can be got and by using project repository it supports reuse of AutoSer models. By using GUI framework and project manager of the IDE enable tool developers to integrate tools with consistency and by using software architecture editor it models AutoSer software components without the knowledge of AutoSer meta model. Model manager handles modeling requests from SAE and IDE and ASAD can be implemented on Eclipse platform. The efficiency of ISO 26262 standard can be increased by combining model-based design approach with fault injection and mutation testing approaches. This increased efficiency can be achieved by following this below framework. Increasing the efficiency of ISO 26262 is of really great importance in safety critical applications. This can be done by defining functional and technical safety requirements in the first place and injecting commonly occurring faults at the inputs using fault injection. Injected faults and their effects are observed at inputs and at outputs continuously and steps 2 and 3 are also done to test and validate given system dependencies on other functions. Faults are also injected to n basic blocks to observe detection effectiveness using mutation testing. If any mutant are still alive then their effect on functional safety requirements are studied and using special test cases they are killed and detected in actual code. The reusability and compatibility of software can be improved by using a model based design approach for automobile electronic software with platform compliant with OSEK slash VDX standard. This is done by using a smart OSEK platform. Smart designer tool supports UML so it is used to transform UML to OSEK slash VDX models and OSEK implementation files are also generated at the same time. After conversion to OSEK slash VDX model, system model is done and can be verified by smart simulator to check system correctness at operating system level. The interface between smart designer and smart system is AIF XML file generated by the system designer. Based on smart simulator results, system model can be corrected and verified and also transform to C code by using smart generator. Verification at code level is done by smart receive. Portability can be increased when the UML sequence and state diagrams are integrated seamlessly so as to completely describe the executable systems and by, imp and by implementing these executable systems on the virtual machine defined for the UML called as the universal virtual machine avoids a separate implementation step increasing portability as only the virtual machine needs to be ported instead of porting individual software applications to the new VM.
that is the virtual machine the uml virtual machine is a virtual computer for executing uml models by combining by combination of state and sequence diagrams for simple and effective execution transformation to equivalent executable state oriented binary models is needed model based design can fall short due to the lack of proper integration it can be made effective by seamlessly implementing it throughout the whole development process by using the seamless model based development mainly consisting of three components the first is the comprehensive modeling theory it serves as a semantic domain providing modeling concepts like concept of system and concept of composition and architecture the second is the integrated modeling model it contains all the information needed to specify a distributed embedded system and the information may include like architecture layers product model process model and for achieving high automation integrated model engineering environment is used mainly consisting of four blocks they are the model repository that maintains the different artifacts including their dependencies advanced tools for editing models that supports users to build models tools for analyzing the product model workflow engine to guide the engineers throughout the steps defined by the development process Model based testing is a very powerful component used in model based development as detecting and fixing errors in the earlier phases of the development is very important than doing so in the last phases of the development cycle the various phases in the model based testing are as follows in model in loop model and its environment are simulated without any physical hardware components simulation is done in a developed environment in a host pc and are reused as a reference to software in loop and processor in loop in software in loop an embedded system is tested in a simulated environment without any hardware performed on windows or linux based desktop machines in processor in loop the testing is similar to software in loop but the embedded software runs on a target board with target processor processor in loop testing is important as faults caused by processor environ by processor architecture are revealed in a cheap and manageable way while testing in hardware in loop software runs on final ecu and environment around ecu is simulated ecu and environment interact with each other like with by digital to analog connectors of the ecu its main objective is to reveal faults in the low level services of the ecu and input output devices many testing methods fall short due to the lacking of support for desired features leading to many proprietary testing solutions to overcome this challenge time partition testing is used the various factors that affect the cost is while implementing the model based development or as follows apart from implementing model based development how intensive it is being implemented is also important because the more intensive the model based development is being imp- implemented the more are the cost savings apart from testing the more how intensive it is being tested is also important though initially more intensive testing increases the amount spent on testing it gradually in, uh, decreases the cost spent on error fixing the later phases as it heavily detects the errors in the earlier phases of the development the various factors influencing costs in model based development are as follows like innovation high innovation degree of the developed function high security level of the developed function domain of the developed function high seamlessness in the development process and high know how of the employees in model based software design and software engineering the challenges faced while implementing the model based development are that it requires high efforts and investments while implementing the model based development the old implementation process has to be redesigned so it requires a process redesign which results in a new development process and regeneration of hand coded projects and training costs for employees which results in the changing of the whole organization structure and uh, the other disadvantage of this is that it uh, has a high dependency on tool vendors as tools do not offer interfaces to exchange models among different tools unless from same tool vendor so it is advisable to buy entire tool chain for a modeling tool from the same vendor there uh, the other challenge of model based design is that it uh, about its controversy regarding its benefits because some industries see benefits and some don't and intensity losses because of serious mistakes in implementing the model based design so it is also important to be careful about implementing the model based design process carefully and also implementing in most of the stages to reap huge benefits in the end it can be concluded that model based design is an efficient process to reap many advantages and with proper implementation even the investment costs also can be amortized but the current condition of the model based design in the on the automotive industry and its effects on the economics are still missing In my opinion model based design can be applied to mobile software development industry to make the design of an of the application easy by using the code generation feature of the model based design 
the overall development time can be reduced thereby introducing the product earlier into the market resulting huge profits